Welcome everyone to another tutorial video for SOLIDWORKS uh, Today, we are going to draw another simple shape uh, As you can see from the screen, it is a rectangular, consists of these hollow semicircles And this is all the respective dimension of the sketches that you need to draw in this tutorial I suggest for you to sketch using your pencil and paper so that you can review it later on easier so let's get started click new uh, click part and click ok so the first thing we need to do is to sketch click the sketch tab and then click sketch and then the software will ask you to choose which plane that you want to draw it. In this example, choose the front plane. Okay. Once you do that, click this line, this line tool. And we are going to start our sketches from the base or from the bottom because it is much easier. Always start your sketches from the easiest part. So once you select, the insert line task click at the intersection of this red arrow over here and then go to the right and then click again to complete a line and then press escape and then click this line you can change the parameter of this line in this case we want it to be 300 and then press enter click this fit preview so that this line will be display 100% on your screen the next step is to draw this vertical line from each of the end of these horizontal lines click this over here and then click again going upwards make sure the angle is 90 degrees the length of the distance doesn't really matter because we can change it after this so just draw the, the vertical line first once you do that click this vertical line and then change it to 200 and then press enter followed by the second vertical lines select and the parameters will be highlighted using your keyboard change it to 200 and press enter and then the next step is to make sure that all of these are being shown clearly in your screen click this fit preview and then click line to the right press escape change it to 50 click ok click another line going downwards and this time is 40 enter and press escape similar to the opposite side click to where the line should start to somewhere over here and then you can see that you need to press escape so that you can change the parameter of this line in this case it is 50 okay followed by another line so in this case, you can see that the blue dotted line indicated that this is the same length compared to this one. So just continue doing the line and in this case, just make a straight line. And then press escape. So the thing that we miss is the, the hollow circle at the center over here. So by using this circle button, click the circle type is the first one. And then bring your cursor on this line over here. And this small rectangle indicate the center of this horizontal line. Click over here and then make a circle. You can see that we can still change the parameter of this circle. Which is in this case 50. Press OK. So basically, we have draw 
almost the complete shape except we have these lines and this line that we need to get rid of so how to do that by using this function called trim entities click over here and choose trim to closest and just click the component that you want to be removed and then when you click this line over here a message will appear and click yes so basically this is your drawing so what you need to do now is to use smart dimension to make sure that each of this uh, length or dimension are correct so just click on the entity that you want to display the dimension and click ok so 40 is around here and now we want to make sure that the length or the distance from this vertical line to this origin is 100 so how do we do that click on this line and then click again on the origin of this circle so put it over here and ok last but not least is the radius of this hollow circle just click on the curve over here and the software will create you the dimension and ok so once we done that now we need to convert these sketches into a 3d body so how do we do that it's very simple just click this features tab and then click extruded boss or base function as you can see uh, this is the preview of your 3d body you can change the thickness according to your needs in this case we leave it as 50 so just click ok Again, if you want to change the colors, click on this small ball over here and just choose the color that you prefer. In this case, I would prefer green, maybe. Okay, then click OK. Of course, by using your mouse, if you click the scroll button, you can play around or you can rotate your 3D body to whichever perspective that you want to see. But let's say once you do that you want to, to re return back to its original view just click this view option at the top and choose isometric this one is isometric how do i know this one is isometric because when you click it it will show isometric over here so i think that's it is for our example in this video i hope that you learned something in my video and as usual goodbye